my name is Peter and thanks for watching Peter's Food Adventures. Today I'm going to make a classic Russian dish called borscht or red borscht um, in Russian krasny borscht. Uh, we grew up eating this food and we make it for our kids. It's a simple dish. Beets and potatoes and cabbage are very plentiful in Russia uh, and across Eastern Europe. Uh, let's get started. When making classic borscht, it's really simple ingredients. I'm gonna first uh, peel and grate the beets. Uh, I'm gonna use about five beets. These are kind of small, the more the merrier. Um, I'm gonna peel and grate some um, carrot and some onion. I'm gonna saute them all uh, separately uh, before continuing on to the next step. I've already prepared the soup broth in advance, uh, so it's just ready. You can use store-bought soup broth. Uh, this is a beef one, but make your homemade broth. It's so much healthier and tastier. Now while these are cooking in the pot, I'm going to now start peeling the potato. The beets and the carrot to be grated. Now when I'm prepping the beets, um, I always love to use uh, the beetroot leaves. So really, I don't really use the stalks so much. When I make minestrone, I use the stalks. But the leaves, I throw them at the very end. They're very nutritious, full of vegetables. Um, so if you do buy them, do not throw out the leaves in any way, shape or form. Now the onions, they cook rather quickly. It's okay to caramelize them nice and deep um, and really lovely hands. Uh, they will wash off, I'm not too fussed with it. But it's now just a matter of grating the beets and the carrots together and then you want to fry them up. <laughs> with your purple hands. The chunks left over are a little big, that's okay, you throw them in. You may notice that I also used a red onion. Um, that's only because that's what I had. So use what you have, uh, always. Uh, normally I just use a, a yellow onion. Now I'm making a large stock pot. I'm gonna go through the effort of making soup. It's gonna be enough for two days worth of food at least. Um, so don't be worried. If you want to have less than a stock pot, uh, you can use less ingredients obviously, but that's now just gonna all go into the pot that the onions are cooking in. The onions are done now. I'm gonna saute this and we'll continue further. So really, it looks like a lot but it's all gonna cook down, I promise. And the more beets you put in there, the redder your borscht will be. It's gonna cook down. Now while everything's cooking, I've uh, diced the potatoes. They're not pink, they're just, everything is pink. Uh, not naturally though, the beets have just gone bananas. And I'm gonna use half a cabbage. So I've just got a Savoy cabbage, could be a regular cabbage. Um, and really, I'm just shredding the cabbage. Okay, so I've got the broth to a boil, and now I'm just gonna add the potato. We're going to allow the potato to cook before we add the rest of the vegetables. Alright, so now I've got the soup that's been boiling for about 10 minutes with the uh, potato in there. Now I'm adding the fun part, the cabbage. Now, I like a lot of cabbage in the borscht. Cabbage is full of water, it's all going to break down into nothing the fried onions. Great, I'm gonna bring that to a boil for about five more minutes. 
before adding the beets. Now this is my favorite part. This is where it turns into borscht. Adding in the carrot and the beets. <laughs> Hopefully in the pot, not on the table like I just did. Don't really know why I'm using a knife. It's just because it's there. And this is where the colors of red borscht, krasne borscht, come alive. So I'm gonna let this simmer for a few minutes. While that's simmering, I'm prepping the leaves that I talked about earlier. Really, I'm just chopping them up roughly. I don't want any of the stocky bits. I just want the leafy bit. And that just gets thrown in at the very end. It takes almost no time. To, doesn't really need time to cook. But these are very healthy. And chopping up some dill. I'm gonna throw in some bay leaves for the last little bit. And we're almost done making borscht. So that's the soup. The very last thing left to do is I'm throwing in my beet leaves in and the freshly chopped dill. I love dill. Borscht loves dill. Don't be afraid of having dill in your borscht. Throwing all the goodness in. Red wine vinegar to balance out the sweet. You need a bit of sour, about two tablespoons in there. Mix it all throughout. We're gonna bring that back to a quick simmer. Season with salt and pepper if you like. Sometimes I add extra beef vegeta in there just for a bit of soup stock base. And uh, serve with some delicious rye bread and sour cream. And that's it, you're done. Made homemade, real Russian borscht. Thanks for watching Peter's Food Adventures. Uh, remember to subscribe to my channel and check out my website, www.petersfoodadventures.com.